Hey guys! Alright, so today I am going to talk about sex. Yep, you heard me correctly. I'm going to talk about sex. It kind of makes me, reminds me of that song where it goes, Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that make me. Let's talk about sex. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I had a moment of um, inspirational something. So today we're gonna, I'm going to talk about sex. And um, not only is it just called sex, but it's called sex from A through Z. And I even have a little thing that says sex from A through Z. Now, um, this may af be offending to some people, so if you're easily offended, I um, don't think it's a good idea for you to watch because uh, some people can be offended really easy and it's not meant to be offended. It's just supposed to be... I don't know. It's supposed to be real. It's supposed to be true facts. It's this stuff that I'm about to share with you is true, and it does happen, and that's that. So if you're easily offended and, you know, da da da, da don't watch this video, because I know I have younger people that watch my videos, so some of it could be a little graphic. That's the truth of it all. Okay, so, sex from A through Z. Alright, here we go. And I have little cards, and I will show you the card. Actually, I should probably put a light on. Hang on, one second. Not like that probably did anything, did it? <laughs> okay, well, if it didn't, oh well, if it did, awesome. All right, so. A. A means autophilactio. The practice of sucking your own penis. If you weren't into yoga before, you might be if you knew you can get to third base with yourself. And the good news is you won't get offended when you fall asleep after. Alright, B. Bisexual. <laughs> One of my favorites. Someone who, who is attracted to both men and women. It must be nice to have so much selection. The world is your oyster. Go out and crack open a few. Just remember, regardless of gender, strap on a condom with water-based lubricant before diving in. Okay. C. Cathodilia. Being attracted to one's television set. Yes. That is one hot little box. It's always obedient, and you never fail to turn it on. In the sight of your remote gives you wood. <laughs> you might have cathodilia. D. Dingleberry. The fecal remains that cling to hair around the anus. <laughs> you can't make jam with it, and it's no good on toast. Dingleberry consumption, like all fetal matter, matter can lead to parasites, hepatitis, and bad breath. Clean up before you show down. E. Ejection. Or erection, I'm sorry. Blood pushes south of the equator. And guess what? You've got a boner. If you have trouble achieving this rock hard state, maybe you should stop thinking so much about your mom during foreplay. Whatever happened to that hot gym teacher from high school? See? It moved, didn't it? F. Felching. The act of sucking semen from your partner's butt. This is disgusting. As if semen didn't taste good enough already. Nothing says lovin' like semen from fresh out of the oven. If you're, go if you're going to chow down, then just know that you and your partner are at high risks for HIV and STDs. The reason why I like these is because they may seem gory and gross, but they're very truthful, 
and they tell you that doing so can give you, you know, an STD and an HIV. Okay, G, glory hole. A hole in the wall intended to have anonymous sex through, often in bathrooms, bars, or adult video stories. Glory, hallelujah, whether you know who you're fucking or not, use a condom, always use a condom, with lube. Okay, H, half and half, when someone sucks your, your genitals, and it's nice to speak split the attention 50 50 that way you won't get some sort of complex if you like doing this you might like to consider getting a hepatitis a and b vac vaccination from your local clinic as you're kind of at high risk if you do this okay i irom pantio otherwise known as face fucking Similar to old-fashioned, but with a twist. The person being penetrated is massive, passive. And buddy, don't pull so much on the ears. It's just bad form. Something to keep in mind. You can catch a whack of things from having unprotected oral, like gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis. So cover up. Act now. J. We all know this one. Jacking off masturbating, choking the chicken, answering the bone, tasting the weasel. You don't have to use a condom for safety, but your gym socks will thank you. K, kink. Non-traditional sex. What's non-traditional to one may not be to another. For some, being restrained with the, with the bag, with the ball gag, while being tickled by their hooded master is an every is an everyday occurrence. What do you consider kinky? Answer that below. I want to know what you guys consider kinky. Everybody has different things. L. Love muscle. The penis, often the best muscle to work out, isn't it? Slap a condom and some water-based lube on your love muscle and work up a sweat. Doing some cardio, remember, it's not just the number of preps, but your form that counts. M, money shot. The cum shot in, in porn videos when the oiled up cowboy ejaculates. It must be hard to be a porn star. You have to come when you're told with tons of people watching you. Unfortunately, no one ever caught anything from watching porn. Break out the battery popcorn. Break out the buttery popcorn. Wow. <laughs> okay, N. And I know you guys know what this one is. Nooner. Sex over lunch hour. Often complicated by busy food courts, cafeteria lunch ladies, and the fact that the sun is directly overhead. But isn't the thought of getting caught behind the salad bar half the fun? Oh, orgasm. You know you like it. <laughs> As in the whole point, getting off, blowing your load, screaming, creaming your pants. Essentially, it's the peak of sexual excitement, usually accompanied by an involuntary muscle contracts and facial coordinations, usually only seen in demonopic possession. Oh, and by the way, just so you guys know, that these are all by sexatosactorado.org. It's basically for the AIDS community. Okay, P. Pearl necklace, and not the kind that your mom wore to church. Hopefully, literally, a pearl necklace is given to one's partner when ejaculated is laced around their neck. And if semen's ending up around your neck, you're at lower risk for hot for HIV and STD. Diamonds may be forever, but pearls wash off in the shower. Q. Quickie, one of my awesome favorites. Because you know why? It's quick, fast, woohoo, done. <laughs> R, raw sex. As in anal, sex without a condom. Avoid it if possible, as you'll be high risk for getting or passing on HIV or STDs. It's not worth, it's not worth the risk, unless you're the type who plays with loaded guns, plays Russian roulette, 
never uses seatbelts, and eats expired food. If that's the case, you're a crazy man. You're just fucking crazy. Okay, S, snowballing. You know, nothing says thank you for the blowjob, kind sir, more than spitting jazz into your partner's mouth. Not only is it possible to pass or get STDs and HIV by snowballing, sperm really isn't a thirst quencher. T, teabag. To dunk one's testicles into another's mouth. Don't get confused and dunk your nuts into a cup of boiling water, guys. That's no... That was last one. That's no fun at all. Another not fun thing. Oral after dental work. Not only does it, it show up the chances of transmitting or contacting HIV, it would also scuff up your new pearly whites. And you don't want to do that because if you have awesome teeth, then why ruin them? You, urol filthia, are people with urine fetishes. And I never really understood this, and if you understand it, please explain it to me. They can't get enough of the number one piss, pee pee, tail water, whiz, foreplay, often involves combining a salty food and big gulps. For safety's sake, stick to being pissed on, not pissed in, it's way safer. W. Wanking or masturbating sex with your number one fan, teasing one-eyed snake, stroking the salmon, juicing your chubby, buffing the banana, tickling the pickle. Really, it's the safest form of sex. You're not going to catch anything from yourself, now are you? So why not just have sex with yourself? Because this way you're not, like, going to get any kind of STD. Okay, B. Look how cute it is. <laughs> Vegetarian, commonly known as lesbians. What would be me? Commonly known as lesbians, although many straight men are vegetarians too. And come to think about it, bi men also have been known to pull up at the vaginal buffet for the occasional meal. And then there's X. XXX. X, X. A rating for pornography. There's a lot of different kinds of porn. There's something for everyone, whether you're into bondage, cake batter, or guys dressed up like ponies. There's plenty of porn out there. You have to do is find it. Me, I'm personally not a porn person. I don't really like watching it. I never really had. It doesn't really do anything for me, so I don't really watch it. So if you do, that's cool. Okay, well, um, why? Yellow and brown showers. This one is gross. I don't understand it. Feel free to un help me understand it. <sighs> Yellow and brown showers. Yes, pissing and crapping on your partner. If you're going to experiment with bodily fluids, best you move things off your new white rug and invest in some rubber sheets. Sexy. Gross. Okay, and then we have Z. Zagnut. To have one's te technical <laughs> genitals sucked by two people at the same time. You are one lucky duck to have so many people on you for the attention of your nads. Just remember, it's more important to play safe, especially in groups. Cover your cock. Okay, so everything that I just said was made by HIV testing and AIDS information and support. Um, I have some information on coming out, counseling, and support. Uh, I'll put it down there. And um, yeah, so that is sex A through Z. And I know that some of them were really disgusting. And I know that you're probably wondering why did you just tell us that? But there's a reason why I just told you that. There's sex A, a through Z. The reason why I just told you that is because, sorry, um, is because it's important. It's so important to um, take precaution, and you know, people are having sex at such young ages nowadays, whether they're straight or bisexual or lesbian or gay or transgendered. 
people are just having sex in general at a younger age.